Come down to St John Ambulance headquarters and with me is Brett, the training director for the Marshals for the TT, the Mangus Grand Prix, and we're, we're going to be floating some pictures over of what goes on uh, getting people trained up for this event. I mean, every year, Brett, we hear people needed that we're short on numbers. Yeah. And is this a way to get around it by being proactive now? Well, it's, it's certainly what we want to do. Um, we want sort of each year to, to gain marshals, but we don't want to leave it to the last minute to mm. appeal for them. So what we're trying to do is encourage more marshals to get involved earlier, basically. Um, what we want is more younger people, to be honest with you, Paul. Um, there's obviously a lot more younger riders getting involved, so therefore there should be a lot more younger marshals getting involved. Obviously, it's something that people think about quite often, I'm guessing, especially when they hear that they're going to be short, yeah. and then they go, well, oh, it's not for me, and I haven't got time, or I'm not that good at these things. I mean, what do you say to those sort of people? Well, we can obviously give them training. They don't have to... People have a misconception that they must do all the practice sessions and all the race sessions. They don't. If they can do two or three or even one, that's a big help to us. So they don't necessarily have to do or commit themselves to every single race or practice. So take us through the training. What actually goes on? OK, we, we show them and teach them the powers and the duties, show them basically what they can and can't do. We then go on and, and show them how to use, obviously, the flags and their meanings. We show them how to load a casualty into a helicopter and put them on a scoop stretcher, do basic first aid, apply a collar, take a helmet off, and things like this. We also show them how to use the Tetra radio, which is vitally important, obviously, when you have an incident. You need to be able to communicate and, and get in touch with race control. And we show them every single thing they need, basically. Every step of the way, they have the training, and we give them the skills to be able to do it. So how long's the course? This course lasts a day. This is an IMC course, and we do everything that they will need I know we cram it into one day, but the way that we do it and the atmosphere we do it, we make sure they're all comfortable, we make sure that they all pass. Um, if anybody has any concerns, we can go back over it. There's time to do that in between breaks and lunch and, and just make sure that they're happy doing what they're doing. And when they go out to actually be a marshal, they're not just left by themselves? No. New marshals are always put with experienced marshals. That's our main, main sort of concern. We won't give somebody a tetra radio and a bunch of flags, <laughs> send them up the road and say, have a nice practice or race session. They're always with experienced marshals. And you'll find, too, with marshals, they're very good and they'll explain everything and they'll sort of teach them and nurture them and, and bring them up to the standard that, that we need to. And finally, on the plus side, you do get the best seat in the house. Absolutely, yes, indeed, yeah. There's nobody stood in front of us. There's nobody with any hedges in front of us. We, we do get the best seat in the house. But we're there for a reason. We're there for safety. And if people want more information? Yes, they can contact us on our website, which is www.iomttma.com, or they can ring the office on 618191.